Ahoy there, I'm Tiny Pirate and welcome back to our little factory. Ready to process some cows. Now, I've been a little bit busy and I've done some cool things and I'm going to show them to you and then we're going to get building again. So the first thing I have done is I have got a base kind of... Uh, what, I don't know what you want to call this, a foundational conveyor, pa conveyor belt piece. And it's basically an 11 by 11 grid because that nicely fits in these three rollers and it's, it's reasonably wide. And from there what I've done, so I'm just going to pick that one up and uh, I'll leave that there for now. What I've then done is build some uh, sort of standard pieces. So this is one of them. That's a straight. It's an 11 by 11 straight and you turn it on and the rollers all work great that's very nice I have also built a corner piece and I'm I'm pretty I'm pretty pleased with that too um, I, I modified it a little bit from the last time the last one we built because I wasn't I just wasn't too happy with the way that worked and I felt that I should build a, a dedicated one for each um, each direction so that I could do the rollers like this which you'll see when they get turned on you see how stuff, stuff comes in this way and then quite promptly it just gets turned around very nice and neatly. It doesn't get caught up. So that's uh, the right or the port one. Port one? I've got no idea which one that is. Um, I've got another one that goes the other direction. Yeah, I, I don't know if I've got the colours around the right way. I can't remember. Port and starboard? Not really. So let me just hit check. Yeah, no, this one... No, I have no idea. So anyway, we've got left, right, and uh, these. So now what happens is that I can I can weld them. So let me just remember that one's going that way. Yep, this one is going uh, this way. Oh yeah, it is going that way, cool. So I can just take this piece here, for example. I know it clicks that way, come on, come on, come around. And I get out of the way and get it there. So now this is going to nice and neatly do that. And then it pops out there and this one pops out on this side. So pretty sure I have set all this up right. It's very easy to guess, but I just want to be extra doubly sure. And then this one comes around here. Um, get out of the way a little bit. Actually just, oh no. Oh no, I just welded it to the ground. <laughs> all right, you get out of the way and yeah. I will sort this out in a second. So anyway, I've fixed it, and now as you can see, I have got a really nice and straightforward uh, belt system that anyone can pretty much pick up and use. So I do plan to publish this to the workshop. I will, uh, what will I do? I will uh, share some link probably in the description below. You can go check it out or go search for conveyor belts on the workshop. But what I've decided we really need is we need a couple more uh, pieces before we can make this truly awesome. The first thing we need really is some kind of device to pick up uh, our cows. So if a cow moves in, uh, it should just be picked up and dumped onto the conveyor belt. And then we can get on with, you know, chopping them into little pieces. And if you're wondering what this is, this is a little piece of a logic circuit built by uh, Helka Homba. Uh, his YouTube channel is, uh, I don't know, it's, uh, it's out there. I will chuck a link to one of his videos below. And this allows me to run little timers so I can have something trigger, do something for a while and then then stop. Um, this is really helpful for the blade part of our job. But first of all, what I want to do is to turn uh, this piece here, this starter piece essentially, into a device to pick up cows. So if cows are standing around here, they should be grabbed and then dropped onto the conveyor belt. I want to have um, pistons involved with this. And so where are you? I'll get some of these normal pistons. And then what I want to do is, so I'm likely to actually need quite a bit. So off, you're in that position, you've dropped your cow on the conveyor belt, you get a sensor, you go out. And then you're off, come back and drop the cow. Something like that. And then the piston, I'm hoping that gives us enough room. I think it does. And then this, okay. And then, that and that and make sure it's all connected up so the uh, rotating piece and then the piston and then this 
Okay, so I think that will do the trick. We've just got to program it properly now. Well, I, I seem to have a little bit of trouble with my conveyor belt. It's currently running off across the landscape. Stop, stop, stop. Turn off the loop. Um, just, no, come back, come back. If I can just turn, oh, thank goodness me. All right, so it's being a, it's being a little bit strange. Um, it's sort of working, but not quite. Uh, so right now I've got this weird problem whereby, um, okay, it's off, turn off the loop. Uh, it does this going out and grabbing thing, which is great. But then as soon as I turn it back, it does that. Uh, so that's a little bit annoying, but I think I have the answer to that. So I'm gonna crack on and see if I can figure it out. Just hold tight, caller. Okay, so I think I have it now. Uh, it's not perfect, but it'll it'll do the trick. So it's currently going a little bit crazy because um, the logic gates here are freaking out. So there we go. I think I've reset it now. So, oh, well, okay, okay. Calm yourself down, game. Frame rate's getting a little low there for some reason. So what we've got is a logic gate system here. And I, again, I got this off uh, Khan Gaming. Um, are you okay game you've dropped to 12 frames a second you don't you don't seem well but what i what happens now is that it will pick something up uh and when it drops it like this and drops it here it'll reset itself um and then it'll go out and just go back to its default position so what should happen now is uh once i i think i'm just gonna hang on let me just give it a button i need to give it a little button just to um give it a little reset option so if I connect this to that one um, and then I can probably reset it and then I'm just gonna put it over here on this part again see frame rates free up there we go so now it seems a little happier we'll get rid of that okay so now it is ready let's see if I can test it with a cow so I've got my little test cow here uh, let me get rid of that. Oh, I got rid of it in time. Picks it up, puts it down. Doesn't actually put it down. <laughs> you silly thing. Okay, so uh, reset it. Oh, uh, let's reset to the wrong one. That's fine. Or a different one. That's fine. Okay, we'll reset it by pretending to be here. And... Okay, come on. Come on, machine. Uh, look, I'm resetting the logic. Okay, yep. All right, so cow comes wandering towards the front. It gets picked up and dropped on the conveyor belt and the conveyor belt throws it off again. So I don't know, it's not it's not perfect by any means, but I'm going to I'm going to call this done for now. Uh, and I think we're going to uh, just enjoy sticking that at the front of our little conveyor belt system here and then let's see what happens with it, eh? So I need to grab the weld point. I'll just turn this whole thing off. Uh, shush! Grab the welder and weld it onto the front. And uh, then we shall see what uh, happens once we actually give it some live cows. Okay, so factory is currently welded to the ground. Uh, the ground is a little, little low here, but that's okay. So what we have now is uh, this should be able to spit out cows all the way around. So we will check if that is in fact the case. Uh, these all working. Uh, how are you, button? You are resetting the right thing? Okay, excellent. Cow comes in. Detected. Picked up. Dumped. It's positioned there. No, don't pick it up again. <laughs> just put it down. Oh, okay. So just get out of there. Keep moving. Keep moving, cow. Okay, so it's now... <laughs> it's now progressing down the conveyor belt slowly and surely. Can we give it a little, a little help? So it's brilliantly wandering along here. If you've got a better mechanism for my grabber that is less failure prone, then please let me know. But this one is progressing down and uh, eventually it'll come around the corner here and drop off the end. The next part that I want to make is, uh, oh God, come on, is probably a splitter. So yeah, I've got a splitter design already and I'm gonna show you how that works now. So I'm just gonna pop that down 
Oh, just in time. Okay, so let's get the splitter out, because I'm pretty proud of the splitter. It works really well. And we're just going to have to uh, do a little bit of fixing on it. It works by having uh, controllers roll these um, roll these bad boys here. And as you can see, they just, just sit there and push you off. Um, if you push one of the buttons over here, maybe the other one, I've got them around the wrong way. It, actually, no, it's not too bad. It switches the controller and uh, switches the gate, and then this guy uh, sends the um, packages off to a different destination. I'm assuming I can fit cows and what have you around, otherwise I might have to create some kind of bend in this gate, so that's going to be kind of an interesting experiment. So we want it to go this way now, and it turns. So what I'm going to do is slap this bad boy on the end of... I need to give it a little... Uh, do that. I'm going to slap it on the end of our conveyor belt here, and send the cow off. Oh, there's a there's a giant cow in the way. Cow, you have to hop off for a second. And there we go, try again. This point to there. And now what I can do is uh, lag horrendously. But we can get the old cow going and watch him go down the splitter. Picked up, dropped. Uh, okay, that's just... Leave my, leave my cow alone. All right, I think we kind of... We don't... Yeah, just put the cow... No. Just... Okay, just... Can you just leave the cow alone, please, for a second? Thank you. This time, cow machine. Pick up the cow. Move. Drop. Well... I mean, okay, that was... Wasn't really what I was quite looking for. Try again. All right, it has to be this time, really, doesn't it? Let's have a look. I've got it. I'm sure of it. Now drop it. Now just do your little... That's fine. Your dance is fine. Good. And now the cow is uh, progressing. And it's going very slowly. So let's watch it. We're just going to stand on it. It, it does seem to be working. There does seem to be a little bit of lag, physics lag, or something going on with this conveyor belt, which is a little bit sad. But it is working, so let's watch it uh, pop out the other end. So here comes our faux cow. It looks like it's gone very nicely down this conveyor belt, and it will go very quickly onto this uh, conveyor belt. It's going to be tipped over. Can't do much about that. Um, but that does seem to be working just fine, really. So our splitter has worked, and, and no doubt if we uh, sent it the other way, everything would work this way too. So I'm pretty pleased with that. Um, I'm going to turn all this noisy stuff off, and then we're going to look at what we need to mess around with next. So the final thing I want to do is to make a bit of a murderizing saw, and I've had a good idea for this, and it's going to require... Uh, two of my 11 by 11s uh, are glued together so um, where are you 11 by 11 take you here um, I'm gonna just glue you on the back here if I didn't put you too close okay so it's fine so this is why are you oh you're flashing at me because welding tool is out this is going to be my uh, wonderful uh, first automated soaring and destroying a machine. So what I want to happen is, what I want to have happen is cows come along here. When they trigger a sensor, a uh, gate goes up behind them, clonk sort of across here. They are immediately grabbed by some grabbers and then saws come out and uh, basically chop their legs off. I think that's going to be the plan. So I'm going to sort of get cracking on that. I think I know how to do that well enough. And I hope you will uh, stick around to see the end result. So uh, yeah, we're going to start with the uh, gates here. And then we're going to um, chop us some cows up. It's going to be going to be pretty cool. Okay, so I've got the kind of uh, basic system started. So your cows will come down here, they reach here, and then this gate will close. We're actually going to put this on a timer. We're going to put it on that timer over there. So the gate will be closed for a couple of three seconds. Meanwhile, uh, various implements will, uh, I don't know what, what to say, they'll slice the cows up basically. So I need to sort out uh, the chamber for that now. And it's going to take, it's going to take me a second. 
Okay, so the basic principle now works. Basically, a cow comes along here and then something bad happens to them. And I'll show you what that is. The gates close. The saws go in. Um, they do some chopping. Chop, chop, chop. And then when the time is off, they all come they all come out again. What I need to do is connect these up to here and just generally make this a little prettier. Uh, possibly put in a little window so we can see the action. And then I need to connect it to this timer block because what this timer block is going to do is when it's triggered, it's going to turn everything on and then a few seconds later turn everything off. As you saw, it goes on. There's the red light for on and then off when it flips back. So I'm going to weld that onto this, connect it all up make it look pretty and then we're going to test it out and I think it's going to be I think it's going to be awesome what I would love it to do is if I could set it so the doors would close these would go in these would go out and then uh, the door would open and these would stay in the same position I, I can't like they'd stay in this out position I, I can't figure that out I can't get the sequencing right very well on controllers and I haven't found any good tutorial on it so for now we're just going to do it the clumsy way because it'll work and it'll be fun Okay, so we're just about ready for this. What I'm going to do is weld uh, this red part here on probably the side, the side here. Uh, yeah, I think I'll just slap it right across these legs. Okay, so I push the purple button just to reset it. The uh, green goes to the input, the red goes to the output. So the red is going to go to this controller and this controller the green is going to go to that one now all we have to do is oh we've got to wire up the blades as well so that can be a job for oh no so hang on a sec five six seven eight are already there so basically as soon as five and six seven eight are activated they just need to go uh, full speed uh, all the way round and I suspect they will need to do that for three sets of, of cycling and that should make them spin murderously which is uh, which is generally the idea so let's test it out on a poor subject so we come in here trundle 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 trigger those start spinning Oh, uh, timer wasn't long enough, I suspect. Yeah, so we need to make this like a like a five second or six second timer, I suspect. So now we come in. Don't begin to ask me how that works. Go watch the video. We've triggered it. This blades, no oh, blades come out, but not quite long enough. Okay, let's try again. Try again a bit longer. Uh, ten seconds. Okay, let's do this for ten seconds. Chugga, 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 come in, we trigger it, cow is standing here, blades come out, okay, chop the legs off, and, and then put, and then put away again, that's kind of weird, alright, that is definitely weird, so there's something funny going on there, I think it's because we need, uh, maybe we need all of these to be working just like, all the time, alright, let's try that now, yeah, so I mean, they're working all the time, which is a bit of a pain, but never mind. So they're spinning. They come out. Oh, they stop and then they spin and go out. I, I don't know why that's doing that. I actually think it still will be just fine. And if you want to uh, make a better one, then please do so. But I think what we need to do is to check this now. Will it chop uh, the legs off a cow? So I'm going to save this bad boy and stick it on the end of our system and put some engines on it to give it a bit of a uh, punch so that it can accept uh, so that it'll it'll be powered are you happy you're not happy I put on a little like or switch a nor switch here so unless when I turn it off like that see it'll it'll stop that horrible noise from running the whole time it kind of freaks it all out as well but that's fine so we'll fix this up wire it up and give it a, a test cow to mess with and just see how awesomely we can make this whole thing run so for some reason, as soon as I clipped this all together, frame rates just crashed through the floor. I, I don't know why, but that's how it is sometimes. So we're going to just get going and see how we do. Um, get the cow ready, put that down and enjoy the very low frame rates. 
Uh, up goes the cow. This should be working a little better now. I can't promise anything. But no, don't don't fall. Up. <laughs> okay. Well, you know that's not the end of the world. Maybe if we give him a, a bit of weight on his on his back, he'll tip over. That's more like it. Leave him alone. Don't don't you dare touch him. All right. Has he come through yet? He's actually getting a little jammed up here, which is a bit disappointing. Uh, I suspect it's his tail, so I need to uh, just jump on him a little bit. Oh no, he's going to go in. He's going to go in weirdly, and then we're not we're not going to be sure exactly what happens here. Uh, let's. He's upside down. He's upside down. This is not going to be a, a cow hoof removal system after all. So let's just see what happens. Uh, He's going to come in. He's going to trigger the sensor soon. And then everything should kick off, which will be quite grand. No, don't trap, don't trap me in here. Let's have a look. He's in there. He's definitely in there. Oh, the blades are coming out and in very low frame rates have just sliced chunks off him. And now they're going to open up and hopefully let him out. Yeah, let's just run through with them. Come on, let us out, let us out. No, I don't want to be triggering. Oh, no, no, I'm right in front of the trigger. No, 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 no. Okay, okay, we're out. So the cow did get somewhat uh, de-hoofed. If it had been right way up, I think it definitely would have lost its hooves. But as it stands, this frame rate is absolutely killing. And I can't do much about that. So we're just going to have to enjoy this cow dropping off the end. Anyway, I'm not sure what is quite going on with some of these parts. Uh, I think I will publish them. To the workshop anyway and you guys can all have a fiddle with them if you have any cool ideas then you can take the 11 by 11 base plate and build something yourself um, maybe you can come up with something a little better than this and my poor old uh, daft cow here who's behaving very oddly until next time i've been tiny pirate thanks for watching this conveyor belt madness i hope i'll catch you again soon